What's going on guys, Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and today we're taking a look at a mechanical keyboard from a new company, a company you might not have heard of. They're called Phoenix and they are making gaming products and this is their Ator. It is a mechanical keyboard pretty much down to the point. Um, as you can see, it's just a keyboard, no gimmicks, no lights, anything like that. So let's just go ahead and check it out. The packaging for the Phoenix Autor is very, very plain. Um, the only thing that really lets you know that it's even a Phoenix product here is the actual Phoenix logo. That is pretty much it. Now, when you go to open it, there is, I don't know if you guys can see that in the video, it says Autor right there. And on the back, it lets you know that it is designed by Phoenix in California and assembled in Taiwan right there. But that is basically it. So I'm not even sure if this is the full retail packaging or if these are even gonna be sold at retail yet. I'm not specifically sure on that, but um, pretty plain packaging. But let's just go ahead and open it up and see what we have inside here. And as we take this down, move it into the camera so you guys can see just a little bit there. Um, we do have this little Thing here with the Phoenix logo on it, as you can see right there. And it says, a tour, write freely, think freely. Um, it says, let's just let you know that there is no drivers or software required to use the keyboard. And um, it gives you information about the, you know, if you're having any support problems or anything like that, it's all on this little piece of paper. We do have, as far as accessories go, if I get this out, we have the old USB to PS2, so USB to old school PS2 adapter right there. You usually don't see these a lot anymore. And then under here, we have our little cable here. So I'm assuming that there is no cable connected to the actual keyboard, which I do like actually. And here is our cable. You can see that it is gold plated on each side. Move this down here so you can see that. Gold plated on each side, very long, nicely braided, very thick. So, you know, if you're playing games and you're just moving things around, this isn't going to rip or break and it's not going to tear, which of course is very important. Of course, we have a keyboard here, which we're going to check out here in just one second. Now, as we take a look at the keyboard, the first thing that really caught my attention was the color. It is sort of a darker blue metallic color. It looks really great. Um, you know, the, I don't know if the video is really doing it justice, but it looks really, really good. Another thing about this keyboard is it's not overly large. There is no wrist rest. Um, there is no even height adjustment or anything like that, I don't believe. Let me check that real quick. Yeah, there's no height adjustment on this either. It's just the keyboard, so no extra gimmicks or lights or anything like that. The keys aren't backlit or anything. It is just your typical keyboard plain down into the point. Um, this does use Cherry MX Brown keys. So you're gonna have that nice feedback as you can probably hear as you know, I use this here. All of the keys, which I'll give you close up, they are silk screened here, of course, with, you know, all of your letters and everything. But again, nothing is backlit right there. You do have the full 104 key layout. So you have um, your full, line of keys, all of your function keys up here, and then you do have a number pad right over here. Also, you do have your LEDs for caps lock, scroll lock, and um, number lock right here, and you do have a small Phoenix logo, but one thing I like about this keyboard, again, not overly flashy or anything like that, it's just a plain keyboard, that's it. Um, if we look at it from the side, you can see it is just one solid unit here. Nothing to, you know, it is on an angle a little bit as you can see right there. So when you are typing, it is gonna be on that angle, but that you can't adjust that whatsoever. So there are no adjustments on the back. You can see the back is pretty much plain here. All you really have are these rubber, um, rubber feet right here that will, you know, when, you, when it's on the desk here, it's not gonna go ahead and move around like that. And then as far as connections, you have used your one mini USB connection right there. So that's gonna connect and get you going. That is pretty much it. But again, there's no drivers or anything like, anything like that. It is just a plain keyboard. It looks really nice. I'm really actually 
interested to test this just to see how it feels. It feels like it's a quality built. So, you know, when you are in that intense gaming session or even if you're typing or something like that, it's just gonna feel good and solid. And of course, that's what you want, especially when gaming. So make sure you check back very soon on thinkcomputers.org as we'll have our full written review of this product. And remember guys, if you like our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.